Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. Cyber Trading University presents our Closing Bell webinar series. Now, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Josh Levitin, one of Fausto's day trading instructors here with CTU. Uh, let me get a quick sound check first so I know everybody can hear us loud and clear. All right, great, great to see everybody back here again. Burke, Joseph, Rex, Don, Lewis. Lewis G, one of our students here with C2. Great to see you, Lewis. All right, well, guys, uh, well, like I had said, welcome back to our Closing Bell webinar series. And as I would mentioned in our live trading room, uh, we have a great guest here with us today. Um, today, we have Alla Peters, a great friend friend of ours here with CTU. She has not only been um, a part of our Closing Bell webinar series, uh, she's also presented once or twice a year with us on the Cyber Expo series that we do. Uh, so Alla Peters president and founder of Fibonacci Trading Institute. So what Alla will be going over with you, with you guys today is, is exactly the title of her webinar, uh, The Fibonacci Secrets for Great Accuracy and Profitability. So essentially what Alla will be going over with you guys today is her indicator free, you heard me right, indicator free method as far as how to trade not just specifically the S&P E-minis, which she's been doing since roughly around 2011 with the Fibonacci Trading Institute, but also you could apply that method towards other markets, the stock market, indices, uh, ETFs, options, forex, you name it. So that's exactly what Alla will be going over with you guys here today. Now, Alla, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Perfect. The floor is all yours. Thank you so much. Hello, traders. This is Alla Peters, founder of Fibonacci Trading Institute and Alpha Wave Method. I am very happy to be here. So in this webinar, I will be sharing with you how I developed the method and I look forward to answering your questions. So please prepare questions for different instruments and different time frames that I look forward to analyzing after the presentation, which I promise you I will make it very short and sweet. So please, always and forever remember to never, ever, ever, ever trade with risks you cannot afford. Always recognize the risks involved in trading and trade only with risks you can afford. Until 2008, I believed in fundamentals. Until 2008, I invested in stocks that had solid fundamentals. In 2008, everything changed. In 2008, I witnessed that stocks that had solid fundamentals collapsing exponentially. This is when my quest began. This is when I started questioning everything about markets. Why stocks that have such solid fundamentals crashing and burning? What is causing this? If there is much more to the story, as we know extremely clearly, if fundamentals and earnings worked, everyone will be Bill Gates. In 2008, I started studying Fibonacci with more interest than ever. I started spending all of my time with Fibonacci and charts. And I started witnessing clearly that nothing in price action is random. Everything depends on Fibonacci levels and Fibonacci structure. One of the events that we witnessed this week had been extremely clear confirmation that that is exactly the fact. As we witnessed, very powerful bullish news, but markets collapsing completely. Here is what happened in the markets this week. This is when S&P was rallying until reversal zone on Wednesday morning. This was stunning news on S&P. Triple the news. Excellent data on home sales. Excellent data on consumer confidence. Every single news was bullish and I continue warning everyone. We are at reversal zone entering long into this level, not an option. And this is what happened next. Complete market collapse. 
no one should be surprised. This is exact same thing that happened in the markets in 2008. This is exact same formula that applies to any instrument in any time frame. Just like S&P reversed from ultimate resistance, Fibonacci reversal zone. Take a look what we've done next. After taking 11 points short to the downside, we've taken another bullish rally from this crucial support to the upside. And this is what price repeating time and time again. And this is what market been doing this entire week, dancing between these reversal zones. All the levels spelled out by the price from a week ago, playing out on S&P hourly today. Exact same formula as it played out on Apple monthly. No surprise here, as I posted on various forums, on the website, and discussed in our trading room what to expect on Apple. Take a look. This is a post from January 25th, where I stated, I expect Apple to bounce from 93 until 111. And once 111 will be reached, it will be the end of the minor trend. And this is why I expect further reversal on Apple. And this is exactly what happened on Apple next, as we will review very, very shortly. And this is a dance that price repeating time and time again. Absolutely no surprises here. This is Apple monthly chart. And this is where bullish rally had ended, and this is where Apple reversed. And this is what been posted on January 25th, expectation on Apple. Here is another example. This what been expected on gold on February 2nd. Fibonacci spelled out that gold is heading to 1300. Has gold reached that level? When I'm posting these levels, I'm not just dealing with retail traders. I'm dealing with institutions. Does everybody know where gold is and what level it reached? Here is gold monthly. Gold reached 1300 four months later. Fibonacci is the only predictive tool in the market. And that I realized discovered in 2008. In 2008, I developed the first strategy I teach to in the course. Strategy I taught to traders from complete beginner trader to hedge fund trader in the last five years in US and abroad. Pure price action for entry and Fibonacci for exits remains valid on any instrument and any time frame. No software, no indicators of any kind. Price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. And this is what works on any instrument, any platform, and any time frame. If you are well aware of the noise that Valiant making in the world with hedge funds and institutions, you know extremely where that institutions and hedge funds been buying Valiant when Valiant was crushing and burning. As I posted years ago, very, very clearly, Valiant is the worst investment ever. When Valiant came to reversal zone, it's only wise to exit the position. This is exactly the reason I named this level reversal zone. This is the level no knowledgeable Fibonacci trader would ever enter into. This is when Valiant had solid fundamentals. Valiant came out with poor fundamentals when Valiant was already at 150. Collapse of more than 40%. And as I stated, investing in Valiant, worst idea ever. Expect Valiant to become penny stock because Price and Fibonacci said so years ago. 
And this is not short-term chart. This is yearly chart. Once you learn price action in Fibonacci, you would daily. That formula remains the same. It doesn't matter what instrument. It doesn't matter what time frame. Here is a chart in front of you. Why would anyone care what chart this is? Does it really matter if this is gold, if this is oil? It has no relevance whatsoever. Price action remains the same. This is S&P 13-minute chart, one of my favorite Fibonacci numbers. If I will change this chart to any other name, price action will remain exactly the same. It will not change. The only thing that will change is instrument's liquidity. That would be the only difference. What instrument is this? It looks exactly the same as S&P. This is not S&P. This is gold, which shows you clearly. Once you understand price action, this is all that matters. Everything else becomes secondary. Besides tape reading, of course, which I think is a phenomenal idea. Tape reading, price action, and Fibonacci levels are not delayed, giving you very accurate information. You just have to understand that knowledge of the markets is the only valid component in trading. Without knowledge of price action, nothing can work. You just have to identify what's appropriate for you. Is it price action? Is it tape reading? Fibonacci levels will always give you drastically higher accuracy. Every single indicator on the planet is delayed. No indicator on the planet will tell you far in advance where price is heading to. Only your knowledge of the price will. Here's a post about Netflix. You can see the date of my post on January 27th. Where I stated, expect Netflix at 85. Do you remember what happened on Netflix 10 days ago at the time of the earnings? Shall we revisit that day? How in the world could I possibly know that Netflix will collapse to that level? That it will collapse to 85? How did I know that in January? Here is Netflix. Not so good earnings. And here is your 85, many months later. I teach in Fibonacci classes every Friday. How clearly identify that as market flawless puzzle. And this Fibonacci puzzle keeps repeating itself each and every time. Moving averages crossovers are the only indicator I used for a little while when I recognized it is a fantastic indicator in trending markets. Trending markets occur 20% of the time. What happens when market in correction? What happens then? How is it possible to identify when not to trade? After Netflix collapsed, this was the earnings. And this is what price spelled out many months in advance, Netflix went into completely corrective fluff. Completely flat, completely untradeable. If you get chopped up in this chop, if you're using indicators such as moving average, ouch, this is not a pretty dance. This is pain and torture. This is quite predictable and spelled out by price and Fibonacci in advance. So, time I work with someone in private mentoring, which I work with mentoring with complete beginner traders in US, in Singapore, currently working with golf, world rank golf player in New Zealand and hedge fund trader on stocks, on commodities, on Forex. I ask them a question. What did you use last time on your chart? 
and they show me typically many, many indicators clogging price action. If you look on this chart, which is this is a chart of one of the mentoring students, there's been tremendous investment made into indicators, not into knowledge of the markets, when the only thing that matters is what's in front of you, what price is telling you. And if you remove all the indicators from your chart, you will see very, very clearly that only price that matters and only price that remains constant, of course, besides tape reading. This is the alphabet of the market. This is flawless puzzle. And formula remains the same. Doesn't matter what you use. And this is all you will ever see in our trading room. Your price for entry and Fibonacci for exit. Nothing else needed. So what is Fibonacci? Fibonacci is natural symmetry that discovered in, 2000, in 13th century by Leonardo Pisano. Fibonacci is what you see around you in nature, in reflection in the mirror, in music, anything that's found in price. Fibonacci is what give you highly accurate key concept for profit targets, which is absolutely essential in day trading. Precision and accuracy is a key. Fibonacci is the only predictive tool that will show you these levels far in advance. In AlphaWave Trader method, I use proprietary Fibonacci tool I developed with proprietary Fibonacci rules. These are the rules that remain the key to the method. This is the rules that remains accurate and precise on any instrument, any platform, any time frame. Here's an example of this stock. I worked with a hedge fund that came to me and asked me, what do you think we should do about our position on FIT? I said, what do you mean about your position? Please tell me, what are you doing with FIT? Please tell me, you've been shorting the stocks. They said, no, we've been buying at 30. I said, that's the worst idea ever, investing at the stock at 30. They said, no, we would like to wait until earnings. I said, that's the worst idea. Stock is a reversal zone. It will crash and burn. I don't care about earnings. If earnings and fundamentals made any difference, everyone would have been Bill Gates. Earnings came out fantastic. Why in the world did fit crash and burn? Simple. Fibonacci said so. Reversal zone had been reached and fit crashed and burned. Hedge funds have very big difficulty believing in Fibonacci. And this was crucial reminder, just like Apple, when Apple had solid earnings in January, when Apple was at 130. First time Apple came out with junky earnings after 13 years was when Apple was at 93 already. At 130, earnings were stellar. So why did Apple crash? For exact same reason, just like FIT, just like Netflix. When reversal zone is reached, simply exit the trade or adjust your trail very, very closely because price will reverse completely 80% of the time. 20% or less, price will give you only correction. And this is what I witness daily. And this is what I teach. And this is what I invested into over 25,000 hours of study into Fibonacci and price action, which works on any instrument, any time frame. Fixed stops and speculative entries do not work. Price shows you exactly where entry needs to be. Price shows you exactly where stop needs to be. 
Fibonacci retracement show you exactly where your target needs to be. And that's the key. Golden ratio sequence is the key to the symmetry that surrounds us and everything. Golden ratio sequence is what found in nature and what found in price. So how is it calculated and what is the key to the method? Key to Fibonacci is this sequence. Every single one of Fibonacci numbers created by adding previous two numbers. And these are the only numbers that matter. This is the only numbers we are paying attention to. And this is what creating this golden ratio symmetry in the markets. And this is what I will be teaching tomorrow in Fibonacci class. This is the core two alpha wave trader method. Rule number one. Monitor for reversals and trend inception at the reversal zone. If you know the rules and you're entering at the trend inception, that remains the key. Here is an example. Oil Weekly. This was collapse on oil. And this is oil at 31, reversal zone. Multiple graduates of the course had been saving me rave emails as they've been buying oil at this level. Oil simply reached the reversal zone and gave you a stunning point of entry. This was expected. What has happened on oil and why in the world is it reversing? Because oil reached crucial end of minor trend. If you were in the trading room yesterday, you saw that I said that oil heading back down to reversal zone. 40 will be key number on oil. Oil spelled this out two months ago. Where is heading to? Please pay attention to what oil will do in this area. This is a key. I expect powerful reversal. I expect powerful bounce. But only if rules are met. And this is what we will be discussing with students tomorrow in Fibonacci class. And this is a key by the inception of the trend. Here's also another point. Never trade against the trend. If you do, your chances of success are drastically less. Wise thing not to touch counter trend move. Wise thing to monitor for trend inception at the inception of wave three. If you know where this entry is, if you know the rules, this is flawless point of entry. When price comes to the end of wave three and you did not take a trade, you are out. If you are entering your trade at the end of wave three, you are entering into reversal zone. Here is another reminder what's happening in the markets and what's been posted and discussed forever. Here is Euro. Remember Euro when Euro we eight? No surprise here. Euro reversed from reversal zone. This was the end of wave three. This was reversal zone on Euro. This is where Euro crushed and burned. And this is what I posted before I left on vacation in 2014. That you are heading to 3400 and this level on weekly chart will be the end of the trend. If this level is broken, Euro will go into free fall. This is where Euro is today. Let's take a look on Euro and let's take a look what to expect next. This is proprietary Fibonacci support. This is the end of the minor bearish trend on Euro monthly. You're witnessing what happened on Euro weekly. 400 had been broken. Euro went into free fall. 
This is exact same level on monthly. I expect this level to be broken. And I expect Euro to head to lower levels. 87 and 60 next. I cannot tell you when it will happen, as you have been dancing at the end of the minor trend for over a year. This is a brick wall. Once this level is out, this level is next. And this is how price moves on any instrument in any time frame. Doesn't matter if it's Apple, doesn't matter if it's fit. This is the formula to price structure. This is the basic five numbers you need to know. And this is the core to the method. And this is what I teach. And this is the structure price repeats daily. Doesn't matter what instrument, doesn't matter what time frame. Here's an example of NASDAQ. Price reversed, reminding you, when market comes to reversal zone, only 20% of the time you get lucky if you catch a little bit more outside of wave 3. Ranging markets occur 80% of the time. Ranging markets respect Fibonacci levels, just like trending markets. Trending markets, the only difference, have power. Ranging markets do not. Wave 3 is an alpha pattern in alpha wave trader method. Wave 3 will forever remain the core of the markets. You absolutely must know where that is. Because Wave 3 is always present, Wave 5 is not. It doesn't matter if it's long. It doesn't matter if it's short. Here are a few examples, and I look forward to answering your questions. Euro 3-minute chart, major trend. Bullish rally and it reminding you, do not ever acquire position at the end of wave 3. It will work only 20% of the time. Crude oil, drastically different, extremely chappy, respecting Fibonacci levels, nevertheless. This is one of the cleanest charts ever. You will never find more clean price action structure. Five wave pattern. Five Fibonacci waves. Major trend structure. If this remains a mystery, price will never be cleaner and more simple than this. In a summary, price for entry and Fibonacci for exits is the core to alpha wave trader method. No indicators of any kind. No software of any kind. Method applies to any instrument, from futures to options to stocks to forex. Traded by graduates of the course, from complete beginner trader to hedge fund trader. On any instrument, instruments I've never even heard of. Method demonstrated in S&P Mini Day Trading Room. And currently in the course we have students from Kuwait, New Zealand, Florida, New York, multiple, multiple cities in U.S., Chicago, who are trading on various platforms. Any platform I've ever seen has price and has Fibonacci. All you have to decide what's appropriate for you. Is it stocks daily or is it futures, short-term, day trading markets? And this is what defines market structure. And this is what gives you high probability entries, high probability targets. There are three areas of interaction in our Fibonacci Trading Institute. Live trading room where I demonstrate the method education room where I teach the mess, and traders club where graduates of the course continue expanding their knowledge. If you come to the website, FibonacciTradingInstitute.com, you can find all the information here under Learn 
the information about education course. As you can see, next class starts on Monday. Basic course is eight weeks. Private mentoring course is 16 weeks with annual follow-up. You can sign up at any moment. The moment you sign up, you will have access to online modules and all the classes. If you ever have any questions after you review the information, I highly encourage you, please do call. I also highly encourage you, please do read my latest blog and watch the latest videos. Here we just posted the blog about the event I mentioned to you. Triple bullish news on Tuesday did not mean a thing as we took short on S&P. As you're witnessing time and time again, if bullish news worked, everyone would have been Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, pick one. It doesn't. The only thing that works is price and Fibonacci and tape reading, of course. Here's another favorite section on the website. As we update in new testimony, is what students have to say about course. Students become my dear friends. We're traveling together. We're meeting together. And you can listen to what they trade, anything and everything. From Forex to S&P to stocks to options to instruments and platforms I never heard from. And this is what Alpha Wave Trader Method is all about. Anything and everything about the method you can find on this page. And if you ever would like to contact me, please simply click on Contact Us and send me an email or call me. So thank you, traders. Thank you so, so much. Please do ask questions about any instrument. I have chart ready. Simply give me a symbol or description of the instrument, and I would like to share with you my thoughts. Again, all the levels you witnessed in front of you are proprietary Fibonacci levels. It is not any kind of Fibonacci levels that you can just simply put on the chart. It will never work. If you are post posting a symbol, I will highly encourage you, please do post the time frame next to it. If no time frame is posted, I will pull up the first available one. VIX weekly is my chart. Weekly is the favorite chart, one of my favorite charts of all times, because it has hardly any background noise. Agree on that? This is what I'm expecting on VIX, VIX Weekly. VIX Weekly currently at crucial Fibonacci support, very, very close to 11. If this is a correct label, VXX, if this is what I received as a question, this is the level in front of you. If this level is broken, price will head to 5. This is VIX Weekly. If this is the correct label, this is VXX. Next question, ES, ES, I have it open. This is S&P daily. Please take a look on this chart because this is a chart from the trading room. This is where S&P is currently on daily, in massive correction on daily chart. This S&P been doing for the last two weeks. This is why we've been doing with endless ranging markets. This has been ultimate rangy, so-called. No ifs or buts about it because of the correction on daily. We're not seeing any spectacular reversals. Here's another chart on S&P. Weekly. S&P spelled out years in advance that 1800 will be crucial support. As a knowledgeable trader, especially as options trader, long-term invest investor, you realize this is crucial Fibonacci support. Once this level is out, market in free fall. Price respected this level dearly since 2014. 
has posted and discussed with my students and will be taught in tomorrow's Fibonacci class, this is what I'm expecting next. But we also know, and I show very clear reason, why price been stuck here for the last three weeks. This is expected because what price is doing on hourly. This is your hourly levels. As we know extremely well, that price moves between low to high time frames. And this reversal zone on hourly been causing a lot of pain, a lot of grief. So, this is S&P. Let's go to the next question on the stocks. AMD. AMD, the time frame I received request for, is weekly. This is not the time to enter long on AMD. And this is where AMD is currently. Expect very powerful retracements. This was the first time AMD came to reversal zone. Gave you only correction. So what is the wise thing right now to do? Right now, wise thing to do is to monitor for a pullback. Right now is not the wise thing to add to the position. This is not the place to enter bullish rally. Place to enter bullish rally was drastically lower below. But price spelled out very, very clearly. Sellers only taking a pause, no reversal here. AMD taken four weeks and crawled back up. AMD did not stage the collapse like Valiant did. AMD have done exact same thing as S&P on daily. Next question, Enya. E-N-I-A. I have no idea what time frame that is. I'm bringing it up. Let's take a look on something other than weekly. So let me show you a couple of things about Enya. Very interesting stock. So this is a reminder of the importance of respecting reversal zone. Let's start with that. This was Enya in 2010. No surprise here. No knowledgeable investor in their clear mind who knows Fibonacci would ever be acquiring position in two reversal zone. If you do, your success rate less than 20%. So let's take a look what to expect on Anya now and what price is doing currently. Again, if you look on monthly charts, hold time a couple of years. This is for long-term investment positions. Everybody clear on that? If you're trading daily chart, you are looking at holding position for days or weeks. Weekly months, monthly years. Do you understand that part? So here's Enya. Taking a bit of a pause at decision point one, the end of the minor trend. Remember where Euro is? It's the exact same level as 105 on Euro. So, sell off, absolutely exhausted, taking a bit of a pause. You do not want to short anywhere near this level. Take a look at significance of this level. If you did not short this stock, this is not the place to enter long. Shorting into crucial Fibonacci support, not an option. Long-term ANIA, you're on sidelines monitoring this bullish structure. So far, it is only correction. Let me show you the significance of the end of the minor trend. That's not just euro, but also oil monthly. As I show in the class, oil stalled out all these years in advance. And the significance of the end of the minor trend was 86 on oil. Once 86 was broken on oil, oil went into free fall. And as you're witnessing, bullish rally on oil came to Fibonacci resistance. 
no surprise here. Always trade only between Fibonacci levels, never into Fibonacci levels. And this is where Anya is now, as where oil was at 86, as where euro is at 105. Exact same formula. Next question, dust ETF. Let me see if I have a data. Dust and a free fall. Let me show you a couple of things on dust. Your magic. I love long-term stocks. Every time I work with hedge funds, they're asking me why in the world you're involved with day trading futures because stocks are so much cleaner. Unbelievable. Dust monthly. Stunning. Stunning reversal from 836. Quite a similar structure, similar dance as on Valiant. So I want to show you where it reversed from. And now I will tell you what I think what will happen next. So, I would like to hear about fundamentals on dust when price was at reversal zone. Fundamentals on Apple were so solid at 130. I wouldn't be surprised if dust spectacular fundamentals at 836. So, let me show you what to expect on dust. Dust on a verge of becoming penny stock. I mean, dust, I don't know what else to say here, frankly. No matter what I look on dust, it doesn't show me it will exist. I don't have any good news on dust. Right now, dust is sitting at the end of the minor trend. I don't expect this to last. It is not a wise thing to invest in long-term position on dust. I expect for dust to break through this level, and as you could see, dust is showing. This level is broken, dust is in free fall. Dust will become penny stock, just like Valiant. Next question, Euro AUD. I'm going in order, guys. I'm not seeing other posts. I'm trying to accomplish everything in sequence I received. Euro AUD for our chart coming up. So I will answer as many questions as I possibly can. I live and breathe markets. I see market as a flawless Fibonacci puzzle, and I can prove it every day. So I can prove that everything preset in markets far in advance, and that fundamentals are completely background noise should not be even, in my hum humble opinion, allowed. As we know, if fundamentals worked, what would life be like? Pure magic for everyone on this planet. Somehow it doesn't. So, you are AUD for our chart. So, let's take one step at a time. This is your AUD for our chart, John. This was reversal zone. So if you know the rules, you would be acquiring position at reversal zone. Let me show you where you are AUD right now. This is not the place to enter the position. You are AUD very close to reversal zone. Exhaustion of the bullish trend. You do not want to enter into reversal zone. Expect exact same reaction as happened prior. So if you are long, it's a very good idea to adjust your trail very, very close. This is not the place to enter. If you've been long, good for you. Adjust your trail very, very close. This will be brick wall. This is where sell-off will start again. Next question, IBM Daily. In the course you learn why in the world I never use word daily. Extremely, extremely crucial point. A, IBM Daily comes first. 
just in the order I received the questions. IBM 14 40 minute chart. This is IBM. Stuck between two levels. IBM is not a traversal zone. This is the end of the minor bearish trend. IBM right now in massive correction daily, dancing between two levels. Can be dancing here forever. So, if you know the rules and rules are met, you may have a chance to re-enter the trade near this area. But rules must be met. You cannot short near this level. This is crucial Fibonacci support. That market had not been able to break through for the last week. If rules are met, this would be last point of entry. This will remain brick wall. This is broken. Price will head higher. And this is where you need to know monthly levels in order to make that third deck. So I'm really, really curious to see what IBM is doing. Let me take a look on monthly. IBM is stunning on monthly. IBM is flawless. Flawless. So this is IBM monthly. So expect IBM at drastically higher levels. What you learn in the course, you're paying attention to smaller charts. You absolutely must pay attention to long-term charts. This is IBM. This is the area I'm expecting on IBM. This is where IBM is heading to next. Stunning, flawless structure. So around this area, plus minus a dollar, expect powerful pullbacks. If IBM will break through this level, it's heading to 189. After 189 on monthly, it will head all the way to 215 area. But one step at a time, this is monthly traders. This is not something that will happen in the next five minutes. This is long-term investment position. Next session, Amazon daily and weekly show you a couple of my posts on Amazon. If you are trading Amazon, you would appreciate that. And just to show you so you can see where I'm posting this. I'm not just dealing with retail traders. I'm dealing with institutions when you come to LinkedIn profile. So if you take a look on my posts, you can open up and anyone. As I'm posting updates, I'm sharing with you. This is attracting a lot of attention. So let's find the post and what I said about Amazon many, many months ago. February 1st, what in the world did I say about Amazon? Let's take a look. I said Amazon is heading to 500. This is the image. Correct? Let's take a look on Amazon right now. Why not? I said Amazon heading from 572 to 500. Crucial support. This is the image that you can see much, much bigger. Exact same image. Crucial support on Amazon. Everybody seeing that? 500, 497.78, exact same as I said the area on IBM. So what has happened on Amazon? This was posted on February 1st. This is Amazon in this area on what day traders. Sometimes many, many days later. This was Amazon eight days later at this level. 
I posted this on February 1st. So, next question please. What's happening on Amazon right now? Amazon daily and weekly. Let's take a look. Let's take a look on Amazon long-term chart. And what has happened from this support and what you could have possibly done if you knew Fibonacci Trading Institute method. So, this is where Amazon is now. Bullish rally from 500 reached reversal zone. To the downside, this will be crucial support. This is not the place to enter into. 500 was. This is bullish trend exhaustion level. And this is Amazon Weekly. Next question, NUGT. Excellent questions, traders. Questions on NUGT Weekly. I cannot answer all the charts. I will answer only one. So I can answer as many questions as possible. This is where NUGT is right now on weekly. 154 is the end of the minor trend. It's a brick wall. The end of the minor trend. Market in correction. This level is broken and UGT will head to here. And price can do exact same dance as you witnessed on another stock. This is very narrow range. But this is as important as 105 on euro as 86 on oil as 500 on Amazon, except this is a resistance. It is not support. So if this level is broken, price will head to here. You do not acquire position into resistance. You acquire position as low as possible. So, my joint pleasure being here with you. Any other questions about the course, about anything else? As I said, students trade on various instruments, various platforms, platforms I've never heard from. Ninja Trader is only in United States of America. As far as I know, very few countries accepting Ninja Trader. Students trade on Thinkorswim, TradeStation, Interactive Brokers, uh, Ameritrade, any platform on the planet you can think of, any platform you can possibly imagine you can trade on. Price and Fibonacci present everywhere. It's all the same. Fib tool, you learn the rules, you install yourself. It is not a software. I don't sell you software. I teach you knowledge of price section and Fibonacci. So, any other questions, traders? I have about a few more minutes. Any other questions about the course? about anything else that I can help you with. So to guide you through the website, on my blog you can find latest posts, latest examples, latest analysis. If you would like to take a look on Fibonacci images, you can browse Fibonacci forum. YouTube has a lot of videos going back years. Years. There is a definition of price action, yes. Market structure is price action, you are looking at it. And that's what you learn in the course. This is price action in front of you. Stunning and beautiful and flawless. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? I do not use FIP timing cycles.
Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? If no other questions, I'm forever grateful for your presence here. Thank you so, so much for being here. On the website, you can always sign up for the trading room. It's extremely reasonable. You can witness method in action every day. Trading room open Monday through Thursday. In education course, you learn the method. My joy and pleasure. I live and breathe what I do. I always look forward to speaking with you. Please never, ever, ever hesitate to contact me. So if you click on Contact Us page, and if you're interested in this, please review the information on the website. And I always look forward to speaking with you. I answer the phone anytime. I love life. I love Fibonacci. I believe life is perfect Fibonacci stage. I can show this to you each and every day. And this is the reason I live and breathe what I do, because my students witness it daily. So thank you so, so much. Thank you, Cyber Trading University. Thank you, traders. It's my joy and pleasure being here. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. And in the trading room, when S&P is not moving, I always answer your questions about stocks. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Vince. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Ike. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Josie, Warren, Jeremy. Sorry if I didn't get to answer all the questions. Thank you, traders.